Okay, so I would like to introduce Osman Arakan. He is from the USDA ARS um, in Beltsville, Maryland. And he's going to talk to us today about the effect of temperature on methane production from field scale digesters treating dairy manure. Okay, thank you so much for kind of introduction. Actually, actually, I'm a little far from uh, DC. I live in DC, just temporarily. I'm a associate professor uh, at Istanbul Technical University, Turkey. And currently, I am a visiting scientist at USDA ARS and visiting professor at University of Maryland. Uh, Co-authors of the study are Walter Mowbray uh, from USDA ARS and Stephanie Lansing from University of Maryland. Content is typical for research studies, introduction, material and methods, results, and conclusions. <coughs> introduction, uh, dairy manure production and management. Uh, dairy farms generate large volume of uh, manure with a dairy cow produces 20 to 25 uh, tons of manure every year. If improperly managed, uh, dairy manures are of uh, considerable concern because of effects such as pathogens, nutrients, methane, and ammonia emissions. For example, methane emissions from uh, dairy manure in 2010 in the United States were almost doubled compared to values in 1990s. <coughs> Consequently, mineral management systems that prevent pollution and minimize fugitive methane emissions are becoming very attractive. Why anaerobic digestion? I mean, there was a talk about anaerobic digestion in the morning session. Uh, it results in the production of uh, biogas that can be used as a renewable uh, source of electricity. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions, odors, and water contamination. Digested mineral soils can also be recycled on farm as uh, bedding material. Digestion temperature uh, influences uh, system uh, heat requirements and methane production. Another digestion can take uh, place under sarcophilic, which is to 25 Celsius, mesophilic 35 to 40 Celsius, and thermophilic 50 to 60 Celsius conditions. Temperatures of 35, around 35 Celsius are typically recommended for uh, digestion of animal manure. However, digester, uh, digesters require significant amount of energy, uh, heat energy, to maintain temperature at these levels. So if you look at the literature, uh, there's very limited information about methane production from dairy di digesters uh, at temperature less than 35 Celsius. And results are uh, from lab scale rather than physical systems. In this study, our objective was to evaluate the effect of two relatively low digestion temperatures of 22 and 28 Celsius on methane production using replicate continuous fat Fit scale dairy manure digesters at two organic load rates. And the results were compared with those from identical digesters operated at 35 Celsius. Materials and methods, substrate, we used uh, manure uh, was obtained from the USDA's uh, dairy research unit within the Basfield Agricultural Research Center. We just call it BARC. Uh, and in this figure, uh, you can see a manure treatment at BARC dairy. Uh, there is crystal barn uh, houses around 150 dairy cows uh, and uses uh, uh, sawdust as a bedding material. Dairy manure uh, is mechanically scraped into the holding pits and uh, pumped daily from holding pits to uh, screw press salt, uh, salt separator system. And uh, so manure solids are collected <coughs> and composted while uh, uh, separated, uh, so separated manure is pumped daily to the full scale continu continuous uh, anaerobic digester. Digester then digester effluent is uh, stored in a lagoon, and finally, both digesters effluent from the lagoon and composted solids and are land applied. In our study, uh, we use uh, salt separated manure after uh, salt, uh, salt separation system but also just solids. Uh, if you look at the characteristics of the study, so in the uh, second column you can see salt-separated manure. TS is around 3%. This is a typical 
so separated manner that we use pumping uh, to our full scale system around 3% TS but we also wanted to increase uh, organic loading rate so we in the in the last part of the study we just oh, okay. uh, in the last part of the study uh, we added uh, separated solids to the our so separated mineral to increase organic loading rate if you look at uh, TS increased from 3% to 5.5% VS increased from 24 gram per liter to 44 four, uh, gram per liter which is about 85% increase there was no any change of the pH uh, there was around 10% increase of the total carbon content and there was around 20, 15 to 20% reduction of nitrogen and phosphor of the when we added solids to so separated liquid mineral uh, experiments were carried out uh, using six uh, field scale uh, anaerobic digesters these are plug flow digesters and operated without mixing. You can see at the back, uh, dairy, uh, BART data barn, and our full scale uh, BART digesters, which is around 540 cubic meter volume. Uh, you can also see on the right, influent lines of the digesters and effluent light on the left, and in, in the middle, uh, gas collection pipes. Each digester has uh, around three cubic uh, meter volume, and uh, Hydrolytization time was 17 days uh, throughout the study. I mean, these are really good for research studies. So these are all on-site digesters. And we used propane for heating the digesters. I mean, last year we had, actually this year also, we had very harsh winter. So it was very difficult to uh, keep the temperature at the beginning, but then it was okay. Experimental procedure. Uh, Digesters were operated a total of 256 days. Uh, in the period one, uh, they were operated at state state conditions for, for uh, 42 days, using only salt separated mineral at 30 Celsius, after start of uh, around 80 days. In the period two, uh, pairs of digesters uh, we said uh, were maintained at one of the three set of temperatures, 22, 28, or 35 Celsius, and fed with salt separated manure for additional 80 days. And in the last period, the digesters were, the digesters were uh, operated under the same temperature regime, but were fed with, uh, fed with a separate manure plus added solids for 56 days. The, so the last period is much higher organic load of plate. Analytical methods, uh, temperatures uh, were, uh, was continuously monitored uh, within uh, each digesters using thermocouples. We also had uh, backup data loggers because uh, this is a temperature study. So we wanted to ma uh, make sure that we were uh, measuring correct temperatures. Uh, the produced biogas was uh, monitored using low pressure cumulative gas meters. And uh, biogas samples were analyzed for methane using a TCD gas chromatograph. Influ we collected influence samples, but also influence samples from each digesters and we collect, uh, analyze for TS, BS, and pH according to standard methods. Results. Uh, as I mentioned, in the period one and period two, we, we only used salt separated manure, and the average uh, organic loading rate was 1.4 kilogram BS per cubic meter per day. So when we added solids, uh, so it, organ, our organic loading rate increased from 1.4 to 2.6 kilogram BS per cubic meter per day. So that, that was our objective. But you can also see some variations, big variations, because this, this is uh, because we were using uh, um, mineral from, uh, from dairy. So these variations are due to uh, uh, water use, uh, the, the variations of the water use uh, at dairy. And well, I mean, all the organic loading rates throughout the study were, uh, were within the suggested range of 1 to 3 uh, kilogram BS per cubic meter per day for uh, animal manure. <coughs> okay, uh, these are the uh, weekly methane production from digesters. In the first part, when all digesters were operated at 30 Celsius and uh, fed with uh, only salt separated manure, uh, the average uh, 
weekly methane production was 7.4 cubic meter, uh, and they were not significantly different from each other. In the period two, when only uh, salt separated manure uh, was used, but also we had three different temperature uh, regimes. At 22, if you look at the state set conditions, uh, we had 5.1 uh, uh, cubic meter methane weekly. At 28, we had 6.8 uh, cubic meter methane. And at 35 Celsius, we had uh, 7.5. Uh, cubic meter methane weekly. F for the last period, when we increased the organic loading rate, adding solids, uh, our 22 Celsius digesters increased from 5.1 to 5.8, uh, and 28 Celsius digesters increased from 6.8 to 7.1, and digesters operated at uh, 35 increased from 7.5 to 8.6. Actually, we increased the organic burden rate almost like 85 percent. But as you can see, our methane productions only increased in between 20 to 30 percent. In general, uh, when we uh, have these numbers, we generally use specific methane production com to compare our results with the literature and in between. So it is basically the same numbers but divided to VS. So for the first part of the study, our uh, specific methane production was 0.35 uh, cubic meter per kilogram Vs, which is actually okay and little higher than the typical dairy manure at 30. At 22, our numbers is 0.26 for the only salt separated manure. At 28, it was uh, 0.34. Then 35, it increased to 0.37 uh, uh, cubic meter per kilogram Vs. But for the last part, when we increased the organic loading rate, adding more solids, our specific methane productions uh, decreased to 0 0.16 at 22, 0 0.19 at 28, and 0 0.23 uh, at 35 Celsius. Because we added more uh, organic added, but we only increased very, very slight increase. So this reason, our specific methane production rates were much lower uh, at higher solids comparing to on uh, salt separated manure. This table shows uh, our steady state, state uh, data from our digesters. Basically, our, when we use only salt separated manure, our uh, digesters at 22 Celsius produced 68% uh, of the uh, methane, as much as uh, comparing to uh, digesters operated uh, 35. And digesters uh, operated at 30, 28 Celsius uh, produced around 90% of the methane compared to digesters at 35 Celsius. So when we added solids to separate manure, actually these results were very similar. So our 22 uh, Celsius digesters produced around 68% uh, of the uh, methane compared to 35. And our 28 Celsius digesters uh, produced ar around 84% of the methane compared to 35. However, I mean, they, are still, uh, they still produce a significant amount of uh, methane. However, uh, none of the digesters at the low uh, temperatures uh, affected uh, by lo lower digesting temperatures. So if you look at the methane content, they are all about 60% in between 62 to 67, and pH are little over neutral levels. Our conclusions are uh, far farm digesters have major energy requirements for maintaining digesters temperature at typical levels of 35 uh, Celsius. Our results suggest that anomic digesters treating dairy at 28 Celsius can be nearly as effective as digesters operated at 35 Celsius, even with a relatively short 17-day uh, retention time. Digesters operated at 22 Celsius uh, produced about 70 percent as much methane as 30, 35 <coughs> Celsius digesters without affecting digester stability. 
and additional solids had limited contribution in between 20 to 30 percent on methane production due to use of sawdust as bedding because sawdust has much lower degradability. I'd like to thank uh, our students Jose Colina and Dorian Rivari Rivera and Anna Kulo for their assistance. I just like to give a uh, little information what we are doing right now. We are currently investigating the paid and effect of antibiotics and feed additives during anaerobic digestion of manure. Ten years ago, when I was doing postdoc, uh, we uh, investigated uh, effect and the effect of antibiotics during uh, uh, anaerobic digestion and composting. But we were using uh, lab scale systems and base scale systems. Now we have discrete scale systems and uh, we are adding, uh, actually we are still have some background levels of antibiotics and fiditis, but we are also checking different concentrations on uh, anaerobic digestion. Thank you for listening. When you moved to the period two, how fast did you swing the temperature? Uh, I mean, it was very, uh, we just changed uh, a day or two. So it was very fast. I was curious if it seemed like from 25 to 35, if the additional gas was somewhat similar to the additional yeah, gas actually, it took to heat the system. So. Yeah, actually, we also made a mass balance, and so we calculated uh, same numbers are for full, full scale systems. In general, I mean, uh, uh, there's not much gaining of uh, increasing the temperature of the digestion. So in general, for, for especially for small farms, it's very good to have uh, lower digestion temperatures at 28, maybe a little lower. Actually, uh, if you look at the uh, Akstar website, they call it uh, 500 animals. So it is still, uh, I mean, actually most of the farms in the United States have uh, less than 500 animals. So that's the, that's the reason why we need to focus on much more on these small farm digestive systems. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.